They're so shocked when they hear this drop Cause the clock that line is an artist now <laughs>Lani good you don't know I'm back I'm back and I'm back with a banger I know a lot of you wanted me to like you know go fuck off and die somewhere but it's not gonna happen bitch do you know what I'm saying it's never gonna happen because like I've got too much personality to keep quiet so yeah I'm back we're gonna do another video on that um if you're a returning subscriber my goodies then you know fuck she heavy I love you guys and if you've never seen my face before then where you been bitch you've been missing out on that Give me a bitch's back. A bitch's back. I'm, I'm back in full forest. I'm back in full forest. Anyway, guys. I'm really coming with a treat for you today. A real big treat for you today. I'm in good spirits, so I feel like I can tell this story. And I can be like, I can tell it. I feel like I, could t I can tell it without getting upset or emotional. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what's gonna happen? I don't fucking know in it. I don't know if it's gonna trigger me. Who knows? But yeah, this is finally part three. I know y'all have been waiting for motherfucking part three for months, my nigga. Months. And it's here. <laughs> it's here, bitch. It's here. And the timing couldn't be more perfect. Because as we all know, part three and all the stories I've been doing on my man, they're all about the bad boy information they've all got something to do with the bad boy information it all fucking relates so make sure you guys keep your ears open do you understand i've been throwing gems i've been spitting gems i've been spilling my business for years anyway part three. Oh, so ooh, the wig is the wig is itchy Part three, I also want to just say to you that um, bad boy information is coming out this week, bitch. This week, bitch. Obviously, like, I want to say it's my first official single, but in theory, like, bad boy information is a silly song, and it? it's like silly, it's bants, like the meme is bants, so I just want you guys to have a good time with it. It's not that deep, do you understand? That does not mean that I don't rate myself and I don't think I can make serious music. Don't get it fucking twisted. Don't get it fucking twisted. Okay? Okay, cool. So we finna start. We finna start. Pop motherfucking free. Let me explain how I'm gonna how I'm gonna do this. Now I could sit here and talk about my man for weeks and weeks and months and months. Do you understand? Because the way he broke my heart, <laughs> bitch. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna con consolidate. Oh, what's that word I always say in porn? It's a compilate. I'm going to compilate, compilation. I'm going to compilate a different series of stories and bring it into one. Because the problem is, there's just too many stories. So I kind of want you guys to kind of gauge the type of relationship we had. Because I feel like the more you understand the kind of relationship we had, maybe the more you understand why I'm the way I am, why I'm so heartbroken and why I'm so hurt. So I'm going to like... I, also, another thing I have to say is I want to be fair. I don't want to tell a story that paints him in a certain light and then paints me in a certain light because that's not the truth i want to be completely transparent and, and honest because the truth is everyone's got good and bad sides to them he, he wasn't all bad if it was all bad i wouldn't have fallen in love with him bitch do you know what i mean he wasn't all bad he was sometimes you know amazing and sometimes very loving and great but uh, of course you know for the most part you know he was a cunt <laughs> he was a cunt so i'm gonna just try and be honest and i'm gonna also sh try and show you lot what i did to contribute to the relationship going the way it went or the situationship whatever you want to fucking call it i don't really give a fuck i don't give a fuck about him if i give a fuck about him i wouldn't be doing these story times so we start so where can i start where can i start i've written it all down because it's so deep i don't want to miss anything did i whatsapp myself i think i whatsapped my old number okay the barbecue the barbecue bitch okay so basically i'm gonna start with story one they're all gonna be like mini stories in it so you can kind of gauge while going with me and him so anyway guys <laughs> so this guy that i've been talking about he likes low-key girls he likes girls that are good girls who stay at home cook and clean 
You know what I mean? He doesn't like girls that are too bait. As much as you might think he likes that, that's not what he really likes. Like, the type of woman he wants to marry is a low-key girl, a good girl, a girl that's not out here doing nonsense. Basically, I'm his worst nightmare. Like, he, he would never in a million years wifey someone like me. Like, no. But it, like, but obviously this is me now, in it. I'm talking about then, in it. Like, so in theory, the perfect type of woman is a good girl, a good girl who stays at home. She's always there. Someone who's loyal. He used to always say, are you being loyal to me? Are you being loyal to me? Are you being loyal to me? Loyalty is the most important thing to me. Like, loyalty... Yeah, well, I, yeah, babe, we get it. Like, you used to say it all the time. Like, loyalty is up there. Good girl, quiet, at home. Even sometimes he used to say to me, like, when he used to come, come see me and I wouldn't have all this on, all this makeup on and whatever, and I would have my hair shit, have my hair, like, pulled back, he'll be like, oh, my God, I love you like this. Like, you look like a church girl. I'll be like, what? And he'll be like, yeah, like, I like it. You look like a church girl. He Sometimes he wouldn't even want me to have my nails done. He would just want me to have no nails, like, proper modest. And he'll be like to me, like, I like you like this. You look humble. You look like a church girl, like, good girl, like, girl that's going to be loyal. Like, I want a loyal girl who stays at home, get me i don't want a girl that's out here like doing too much so cool so anyway in we me and him were in our situationship for a year and two months um maybe year and two months year and three months something along them lines yeah but anyway he um he, so because he likes a good girl that doesn't go out I and I re I, I know it sounds really pathetic on my part, but the thing is with him I, is I loved him so much. Okay, wait, screw it, screw it, screw it. Let's go back because I know my my loyal goodies know this story, but I just need to emphasize something. I dated this guy a while ago, four years ago, four, yeah. And something I need you guys to understand is I was pretty much dating a normal boy like yeah fair enough he had a bit of clout but he wasn't who he is today in any way shape or form do you understand that he had 13 not three zero one three he had thirteen thousand followers on instagram when i met him okay the first time i saw someone recognize this we went through the drive through at mcdonald's like it wasn't like that like for me like he wasn't like like this big he was just like a locally big boy do you get it Thirteen thousand followers when i met him he had one tune out i think but it, it was he what it wasn't what it is today do you get it cool i just want you guys to really see that and really understand that so anyway he liked to go that stayed home in it and he obviously was trying to build his career so he always had shows up and down in manny and nottingham whatever cool he used to perform at the unis at this point in it because it's the early days it's the start of the career type of thing so um in the year and f two three months we was you know doing our thing um i because he because i could gauge he had trust issues i thought like if i play by his rules at first maybe when he learns to trust me i can be myself so i i kind of i kind of compiled i don't know what, what's the word i'm thinking of i uh, what's the word i'm thinking of i okay you see his rules i played by his rules at first I didn't want to play by his rules for the rest of my life, but I thought to myself, I really love you. I don't want to lose you. Like, I can't live without you type of thing. So, I'm going to play by your rules for now. And maybe one day when you realise that I really love you and this is a real thing, you'll, like, relax. So, it's been a while now. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten months. You get me? I have a tattoo at this point, guys. I have a tattoo on my body. Like, I've proved that I love you. This, this nigga still being quite strict with his rules. So... I must have been invited. It was summertime. I, like, guys, I got depressed because basically I never went out. Because like I said, he wanted a good girl that stayed home. I never went out, ever. Like, I was always at home, bitch. Like, I was bored. Always. And the thing is with him, he would do random drive-bys outside my yard to make sure I was home. Random. Where are you? Randomly on a Saturday at 2 o'clock. I'm at home. Pull up. Like, quickly. Always, like, I'm around the corner. He'd, he'd like, want to make sure that I was at home. Sometimes he would just drive by to make sure there wasn't cars outside. Like because mine's my have a private road and like um you, you he could park right outside my house all the time because in my road neighbors and and neighbors don't park on your spot it's just like your spot's your spot so he was always at my spot so he used to drive by just to make sure there was no other cars outside my spot Do you get it to make sure that i didn't wasn't like linking other niggas 
cool so anyway I, listen I've been on house arrest for months and months and months basically I've been on house arrest for time my nigga like and I started to feel like nah bitch like I haven't got a life like I actually need a life so um someone invited me to a barbecue it was some footballers barbecue and it wasn't in north london it was at ends like some young footballer that played for arsenal and i thought to myself i'm a go because he's not gonna clock me normally my man would come don't get me wrong sometimes i saw him during the day but normally he would come after shows and stuff and he used to come usually in the evening so and we'll talk during the day but we had already had our conversation so i thought if i'm home by eight he would never clock that i've gone to this barbecue so me and my sister got pretty, went to the barbecue. This is another thing, guys. On socials, we didn't follow each other because I used to... It was more me than him. I used to argue a lot with him about what he had on his socials. I would like, I would be like, why are you doing this? Why are you... Um, your captions are so disrespectful. Like, you're always, like, making it seem like you're single. Like, well, you, you ain't got no one. Like, I don't really like your captions. So he blocks me and he says, stop watching my Instagram. Um, I blocked him on snap. Sorry. <sighs> I know my story is all over the place, but it's because it's, it's, it's I'm trying to paint a picture. You, it'll, it'll, it'll get juicier. So anyway, bitch, I went to the party. Get me. It was, it was somewhere in, it, it wasn't North London, but it wasn't like the hood. It was somewhere posh, like Barnet or Hertfordshire, some, some posh place, yeah. Went to this big ass fucking house from some Arsenal player cool had a vibe left at eight got home i thought i got away with it i thought i got away with it i swear to god I had a good time i still was drunk i remember driving back home and she was like throwing up outside of the car i thought i got away with that i had a good time because like i said i was always on house arrest i wasn't allowed to go nowhere so i was like yes i got i, I got out of the house and he will never know so anyway the next no i, I obviously spoke to him that night i think cool nice like a conversation next day next day i received a text message and he was basically like where was he yesterday oh girl bitch i died i died i died because i knew that basically daddy was not happy like i, I knew i was in trouble like i'm not gonna lie to you the niggas a scary guy like I, I knew i was in trouble and i was like scared for my life like i was thinking oh my god it's either i'm scared for my life he's gonna Obviously, he's not going to do me nothing like that, but I used to feel like he's going to shout at me or he's going to leave me or... So, like, I was shook, basically. I was just shook. Like, oh, my God, he knows. And then he, like, went mad on me. He went mad on me. He basically ended it with me because I went to a party and he was basically like to me, how are you going party with footballers? Like, you're some groupie, la, la, la. The, meanwhile, I only went there to get food and get a little dance, like, in a little sunshine because I never left my house. But he basically called me a groupie, like, oh, basically a hoe because obviously like like why am i there like he basically said like if i want to be a prestige bitch like i should go out with my friends to clubs like but i shouldn't really go like places where they're ma where there's man like that even though there's man in clubs but <sighs> like a footballer's party obviously there's footballers there he just was like basically that's where groupies go that's where hoes go why are you there whatever even though the the, the, the nigga's family was there do you know what I mean? Like the niggas, it was it was a footballer's birthday. His family was there. Like I don't think it's a whole place, but according to my man, like I'm a big hoe for going. So he ended it with me. He ended it with me. And obviously I started begging, 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 begging. Like baby, please, like no, nah, like it's not like that. You know I love you. You know like I wouldn't do nothing. I just wanted to get out of the house. He wasn't having it. So tell me why this nigga goes and does he see our little B check on me? He go when I think. Obviously, he clocked that I went to a party, not because of my snap, but definitely, like, someone snitched on me. Someone definitely snitched on me. He, uh, um, because he went and done his little CRB check. He went and asked some boy some bullshit. And so the guy that invited me must have called me, like, brrrm. And he basically said, are you linking some, like, hood rapper? And I said, yeah and he was like cool well i'm just here to tell you that he doesn't respect you and i was like why and he basically like kept it real with me he was like he was asking bare questions about you like what you was doing da 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 da, da. if he was like giving your number out to niggas like if he was flirting with niggas like what you was on but he literally said it in like a when like people were like she or ting he was like nah like obviously 
she's just one of my the girls are fucking it. She's trying to act like she 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 loves me and she she's loyal to me. But I like I just want to make sure if this girl's chatting shit basically. But man, don't care about her in it. She's just one of my hoes. Like he literally said something along them lines. But um. I was just too dumb to believe it, like, because when I confronted him and I was just like, did you actually speak about me like that? Um, he was like, no. Of course he was going to say no. What's he going to say? Yes, the fuck? Like, of course he was going to say no. But basically he talked about me hella disrespectful and I, I should have just bounced from there. But like, I was so in love with him and, I, and he told, this is another thing, he told everyone about my tattoo he told them niggas like she so whipped on me she got my tattoo on her la 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 da 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 la just dogging me out talking shit about me like so i felt like shit get me but at the same time even though he was dogging me out like in person like you understand like he ain't he doesn't he wasn't chatting to me like that in person it's like get me like you're my baby dad like in in, in person it's a different it's a different human being but in the back of my mind, I'm not gonna lie to you, I knew he was he was chatting. I knew the guy wasn't chatting shit, and I knew it was true. I knew for a fact, like he um, he like was disrespectful about me. But I feel like at the time, I justified it by thinking to myself, maybe like he's trying to like, because he's obviously doing his CRB check. Maybe he's trying to cover his tracks in case I was acting like a hoe, in case I was, you know, whining on man, lips in man. Maybe he's talking about me disrespectfully because, you know, he doesn't want to embarrass himself. So I kind of justified it in my head, which I shouldn't have done. But at the time, that's what I told myself so I could carry on seeing my, my babes, isn't it? Cool. So that's situation number one of toxic, toxic, toxicity. Cool. That's situation number one. Let me go. Let me go for my phone find out what else this that will happen between us where is it yeah what's up okay so this this ties into the whole like you're not allowed to go out in it so i used to run things by him i wouldn't say i asked for permission sometimes i asked for permission but i used to run things by him if i was going out so i would be like oh this friday like it's my friend's birthday um i'm gonna go to this club if that's okay with you so i would ask but you know and then he would be like yeah calm cool <laughs> when i went out which i went out three times in that year my nigga three times that year but when i went out he would be on my phone more. He would be on my phone a hell of a lot. He would get power. So what I would do is I would like snap him every hour. Um, because we were blocked on snap, I would like send it to his, like his phone. So I would send him private snaps of what I was doing where I was. And I remember one particular time, and this is how I know it was toxic, bro. I know it was toxic. I went out one time and I was texting him every hour, every hour. Obviously, the conversation got a bit naughty, but that's, that's anything, like, the conversation was always naughty. And then, um, I could just tell that my man was uncomfortable that I was out, so I was just like, like, you know, I always wanted to reassure him, so I was basically like, you know, I'm going home, right? Like, I'm not gonna do anything. And, you know, he would be like, mm, whatever. And then I was like, do you wanna come get me? I didn't think this nigga would come get me, because I was in LA lounges in East London, and obviously we're from North. Oh, my back. Tell me why when the club ended, like, this nigga came and got me. This nigga came and got me. Like, he got me, and we went mine, and we went home, and we fucked in my dress, because was, it was Halloween. I was wearing some um, white dress and some wings. I was an angel. Get me, and that was it. Like, I, I'm telling you, like, I wasn't allowed to go out. Like, for real. <laughs> A bitch wasn't allowed to go out, so came to pick me up and whatever. But I just want to emphasize, you guys, like, I've said it in my other story times. Like, I was pussy for this guy yeah pussy i don't i don't know if you guys know what a pussy is but that is me if you go in the dictionary look at what a pussy is that is lani like i was pussy for this guy yeah i literally if you if you took all the tears i cried for him and you put them in a in, 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 a, in a um it, like you measured them they would fill up a bathtub mate a bathtub do you understand what I'm saying? A bathtub. That's how many tears I cried over this nigga. I used to... Fam, I wish I could show you guys. I used to cry hysterically in front of him when he threatened to end it. Yeah? If I had done anything he didn't like and he said, I'm leaving, I'm ending, I would cry. I would panic. Like, I was nuts over this man. I was cuckoo. Like, I lost the plot. In fact, the reason I'm not... Um, 
I'm not completely sane right now is because this guy like finished me fam I can't even describe the crying because I was <sighs> done out done out I'm not talking about a little tear like I would I would have a breakdown if he said he was going to leave me like I couldn't breathe my nigga like if he said he was going to leave me like it, I could not live without him and he knew this like I can't I can't function without you like like he was my whole my whole life like my whole being my whole world do you understand like I was so pussy for this guy I want to say one little thing as well you know obviously i don't read comments too tough but i did see one particular comment where the guy was like someone some guy said to me like the reason i can't get over him or the reason like he had a hold on me or the reason i fell in love with him is because he had clout now now listen little bitch listen little bitch i wish it was that easy because let me tell you something you little bitch do you think i can't get another nigga with clout is that what you, you really think what, you don't think I'm cute? Nigga, you ain't seen my DMs. No offence. I can get niggas with clout. I can get another rapper. And if I'm really, really honest, I can get niggas with more clout. It's not about that. Okay? If we want to keep it 110. 110 percent trill. 110 percent trill. Of what I fell in love with. I even need to put my drink down. The ladies know. The ladies know. I don't even have to say anything. I didn't fall in love with no clout. I didn't fall in love with no money. Because that wasn't there like that when I was dealing with him. I'm gonna be keep, keep it 100 percent trill. I'm gonna keep it 100 percent trill. I fell in love with the dick. If we're gonna keep it real, you guys know what his dick is saying. Y'all, y'all have seen it. That's what I fell in love with. If you want, if you want, if you want me to be honest, yeah. If you want me to be transparent, I just even need a fan. I mean, I hate the boy. I'm not gonna lie to you. He's a cunt, yeah. I fucking hate him. But if we want to talk about if we want to talk about dick. Like, if we want to talk about dick. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. If I knew I wasn't gonna have it for the rest of my life, I would have really, really, really rinsed it. Then I would have really enjoyed it. Whoever's having it now, enjoy it! <laughs> enjoy it! Because you're not going to be with him forever because he's not, he's, he, he's, a, he's a bit of a cunt. Like, let's be honest, he's a bit of a cunt. But enjoy it. Whew. That's what, let's just keep it real. That is what I fell in love with. What else then? Oh my God. He's just so big and he's just lips and... Oh mmm dick is fat mm. and right now let me keep it 100 real with you guys right now like i'm celibate so you know i'm a good christian girl i'm not, I'm not having sex right now um you know i haven't had sex in months and um you know you know sometimes i go a year and i'll have sex once sometimes i'll go a year and i'll have sex twice you know i'm a good christian girl <laughs> and um but when i remember when I remember, when I think about the dick. Oh, Jesus Lord. I hate him with all my guts. All my guts. But if he caught me slipping on the wrong day, I might take that dick. Oh my God. Oh, girl. Mm, let's move on. It was not talk about that for too long talk about that for too long i'm a you know i'm a virgin out here i'm a christian woman out here get me no one's having i'm not having sex right now let me just pray we're moving on
talking about such disgraceful, de debaucherous things. We're moving on. I just wanted to clarify. I just wanted to clarify what I fell in love with. It's not just a dick. Oh, he's got some. F oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, DJ. Anyway, sorry. So, anyway. Fucking, um. Yeah, cool. So I said he picked me up from the club or whatever. Another time, this guy was. Um, Okay, let me tell you something bad that I did. Because it, it has to be a fair story. It can't be one-sided. Something bad that I did. Okay, so basically, the nigga was always fucking other bitches. Like, um, one time... Oh, I remember the random story. One time, um, he came to see me. Um, he hadn't seen me for a while. And he... before, Because obviously, we live close to each other. So, on his way home, he... On his way home from Manchester, he stopped... Um, by my house, and um, um, we, I don't, I can't remember if we had sex, but he just stopped by for like twenty minutes to say hi, and I, like obviously, like you know, I missed you, whatever, just to like see me and stuff, because we hadn't seen each other for two weeks. And um, he put his wallet on the table, on the side table of the bed, and like I could see the shape of um a circle. And it was like a piercing condom. And I was just basically thinking, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? So I basically picked it up and I was opening it and my man grabbed it from me and he basically wrestled me onto the bed. Like he basically, like I wasn't seeing it. I knew it was a condom. So that wasn't the only thing. Like there was bare shit, like bare shit, bare rumors, bare. My friends always telling me like y your niggas, everyone's nigger, la 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 la. So basically, I thought I need to get over this nigger. So in order to get over him, I decided that I needed to um, start seeing someone else. Um, so basically, I base. So basically, someone that I fancied before. I met him that I really fancied before I met him I went to link that guy he was a very beautiful boy I'm not gonna lie to you look like Trey Song's fucking gorgeous he probably knows who he is if he sees this and I thought if I went to see him and maybe I could reignite some of those feelings that I had for this boy I wouldn't be so whipped on my man especially because he was taking me for idiot so I went to see this boy and we ended up having a, a good old snog a good old snog of course it could have gone further but I couldn't bring myself to fully do anything more because I was really like head over heels in love with my man and I think like, the guilt would have killed me but I managed to get a kiss out of it so um one day couple maybe like weeks later he's at like bay is at my house and he's basically like you're not loyal to me he always used to say this shit but he was like you're not loyal to me like you're not you're not a good girl like man wants to like take you serious and be with you but like i can't trust you he used to say shit like that so then i was just like whatever you're always fucking other bitches anyway so what do you want me to do so he was like i know you fuck someone that's literally what he's saying i know you fuck someone else i know you fuck someone else who you fucked let me know who you fuck like i know you fuck someone else so I was like, I haven't fucked anyone. Like, you're actually being dramatic. I haven't fucked anyone. He goes, from the day you linked me. From the day, like, the day that like, first met me, have you fucked anyone? And I was like, no. So he was like, cool, 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 cool. Then he was like, have you lipped someone? And then I went quiet. And he goes, have you lips someone? And I went quiet. And he goes, I asked you a question. Have you lips someone? I went quiet. Obviously, the nigga kept asking. But he was calm. Now, I was shook for my fucking life. However, I wanted to give him a taste of his own medicine. So there's a part of me that was like, yeah, tell him. Tell him you lip someone. Tell him some, some other nigga had his tongue down your throat. Sorry. This is a long video. So he, I was like, yeah, tell him. Tell him another nigga had his tongue down your throat. Tell him. So he was like, have you lip someone? And... And basically, I just got mad brave. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where I got the bravery from. I don't know. I don't know where I got that brave from. Wh how would I get that brave? This nigga's like six foot three or whatever. Where did I get that brave from? This nigga. 
I'm not gonna say too much because I don't want to. I, I don't want to paint him in a certain light. But let's just say he got angry. I was not happy. Let's just say that. So cool. That's like something I did that was a little bit petty, but we move. Um. Let me tell you something he he did to me that really hurt me during now i was always trying to prove that i loved him always trying to prove that i loved him so i was always doing the most for him you guys know i did that romantic shit for him christmas came at the time giuseppe's were popping so i went and i bought these exclusive giuseppe's from selfridges for like six bills six bills is not a lot of money but at the time for me it was um and I'm still waiting for my gift, by the way, back from this nigga. But, okay. But anyway, like, I was always in the most for him. And I remember this... Whew, I was hurt. Um, at this point, my birthday came. And at this point, we had been fucking... We had been dealing for a year and, what, a month? A year and two... Like, this is towards the end. Like, we'd, we'd been going strong heavy at this point. Get me? Like, we'd never really taken a significant break. This wasn't some on and off thing. Like, we would fight for, like, a week max, but we were consistent for the year and, and two, three months. Get me? I see this nigga every week. So, my birthday came, and all I wanted was dinner. All I wanted was dinner. Maybe some flowers. I didn't really want too much, yeah? And... Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. sorry this one oh i remember how i felt man i felt like a dickhead man i felt so hurt so i was really looking forward to him treating me for my birthday so my birthday is on the 21st of february he He, um, I think he sent me a text, like a happy birthday text, around, around, one sec, there's a lady coming, let me brush my hair. Okay, she's gone yeah he sent me a happy birthday message on my birthday around it was late so like my birthday had passed it was like 8 or 9 p.m on the day like and i know he did it on purpose i'm not gonna lie to you because we spoke every day like why is it on my birthday you want to be difficult like he was playing games so he sent me a really late text message just to be mean it wasn't even a sweet message um the only sweet message i i remember getting from him proper proper on like a uh, actual holiday or like a celebration type thing was new year's eve that's the only sweet message he ever sent me but on my birthday nope um he sent me something like happy birthday my g or something <sighs> so cool my birthday passes no card no flowers nothing from him nothing he didn't even come see me and then i think i remember the 23rd of february <clears throat> he um came to my house um actually i was fuming because of how he treated me on my birthday so i wasn't chatting to him but he like he basically called me and said i'm locked out of my house i need somewhere to sleep so i'm coming to sleep at yours but i was like we're beefing like you forgot about my birthday and he goes shut up man i'm coming to your house so he came obviously like he had me on on lock so he could do what he wanted he basically owned me so he came to he had me on smash yeah for real so he came to my house at this point like my rents are not there so um it's just me and my sister so there's four bedrooms and two girls living in this house so i could go into another room in it i put him in my room i went to another room to sleep this nigga he came um, upstairs. I put him in the bed. 
I, I turned around because I was mad at him to go sleep in another bedroom. And he said, yo, come here. I said, for what? And he was like, just come here. I want to ask you something. I thought maybe he was going to apologise. So he basically asked me to, um, he wanted help with something. So he said, sit next to me. So I sat next to him and then he took his phone out and he showed me a picture. Show me a picture of him having a fuck off meal. Fuck off meal. I think it was in Gaucho's if I'm really fucking honest. Gaucho's or one of these fucking restaurants. Fuck off meal. Fuck off meal. He showed me a picture of him having a fuck off meal on my birthday. And then he asked me, he asked me, he asked me to help him pick what picture, between, like he had two pictures and he asked me to pick which picture was better for the gram between the two pictures. like um the fact that The fact that, yeah, I didn't even, um, I didn't even deserve, like, uh, a meal on my birthday. I remember how I felt, bro. I do, I remember. I remember how I felt. So, yeah, he showed me the picture and he said, choose one. Help him choose one to post on Instagram. I remember how I felt on my birthday, nigga. On my birthday, my nigga. You guys don't know how much shit I done for this nigga, like not just normal shit, like cooking for my man. Get me, because I used to cook, make breakfast for him every Sunday morning. Because he used to usually look me on a Saturday, and every Sunday he woke up. I went to co-op. I bought him fresh bread, fresh bagels. Made him eggs, bacon, sausages, the works, pancakes. I've done shit for you that really could have got me in a lot of trouble. Read between the lines. Put my life at risk for you. My birthday comes up, what? I can't get a meal. Even if you don't give a fuck about me, I can't get a meal as a brethren. I remember I was fucking fuming. I was fucking fuming. Do you know what kills me? No, I don't give a shit about this nigga, really. It's just the fact that I let someone treat me like that. Take me for an idiot. Like, I swear to God, like, today, this nigga be flying out bitches and doing the most for bitches. My nigga, like, I... I feel like I gave you my life. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like I gave you my fucking life, my soul, my nigga. You know all the fucking shit I did for you. And then you done, on top of all the shit I did for you, you done me dirty. This nigga done me real dirty, real dirty, scummy. Real dirty. No one can ever, 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 
ever, ever make me feel a type of way because I want to talk about my man. If I want to talk about him for the next 10 years, if I want to make songs about him, if I want to whatever about him, I don't give a fuck. You can't tell me shit. You can't tell me shit. Until somebody breaks your heart the way this, this nigga broke mine, you will never understand. No one can tell me shit. This is personal. This is some personal shit. I don't really care about your opinion with all due respect. You can go suck your mum. Yeah? When it comes to this fucking topic, you can go suck your mum. So, let's move on with other toxic shit he did. Obviously, none of this is the big boy shit because the big boy shit he did is none of this. The thing he did that done me dirty, that done me dirty is, is, is light compared to, this shit is light. What it did, he did to me broke me, like, you know I mean? I'm waking up in the morning, um, but at the door, like, thinking about how painful it is to jump off of a fucking train. Like, really. So. <sighs> so, you know, like, I was just mentally, like, not there with him, it. Let me tell you something he told me. And I think I was so manipulated that I believed it. He told me that this was real. Give me, like, this was real. Man's got you, I'll never do day. But he fucking blew and fucking didn't come back and do right by me. So that's bullshit. But this nigga told me this it was real like this. Okay. Um, he also told me that I want you guys to hear my words. He told me this. He basically said to me, Lani, no matter what I do to you, give me, because he said, he, he, he warned me. He said, if you get involved with me, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm a psycho. But he said, yeah, no matter what I do to you, no matter what I put you through, no matter how much pain I put you through, no matter how disrespectful, nothing, no matter what happens, basically, you, if you're my ride or die, you should never give up on me. That's what he said to me. No matter what. No matter what. You should never give up on me. He said to me, the bitch that stays through it all is the real one. That's what he told, that's what he told me. The bitch that stays through the mud and the dirt that's the real one how far can we fucking take that how far can we take that because the shit the, the thing you did to me like I, I haven't mentioned the thing you did to me what am I, am I supposed to ride with you through that i'm confused how you hurting how you hurting the woman like, that loves you i understand like i'm not talking about cheating and how you how you literally violating how you violating your ride or die how are you betraying doing your the, the ride or die dirty like that make it make sense what you did to me is foul what you did to me is like i'm your fucking op my nigga like i'm your op anyway cool so he said that to me and i i took that i took that to heart i'm not gonna lie to you guys and pretend i haven't seen him like oh four years ago it was a clean slate la 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 i've never spoken to him in four years no like um in since the since it ended it, like proper ended have i seen him of course i have like I, I saw him i went to get dick like i was stupid i was still in love with him i probably um stopped loving him this year i saw him last year when i was on back chat we fucked like i don't know what to tell i was i was a, i've been a dickhead for this guy like his words were in my brain like you don't give up on the man you love you don't you don't um you don't i can't explain it these words like just like they were in my head like if this is some real shit like you just stay oh my god guys i need to shout out my lady that done my nails can you see that can you see them oh my god i don't know if you can see them my nails her name's fifi so guys check her out and um, my wig as well um i'll put it there I'm going to put it there. Make sure you check them out. But, guys, I was so fucking sprung. 
that I believe that no matter what a nigga puts you through, if he's, if you're his ride or die, you stay. You stay. I heard rumors. I had bare shit. Fucking. The thing that killed me wasn't none of that shit. The thing that killed me was what he really did to me at the end, which you guys don't know about. But yeah, I was fucking whipped on this nigga. Pussy whipped. Sprung. But, um. I want, what, I want to end on something I did that was also crazy because I was like psycho bitch for him. Like, one time we had a argument um, and we hadn't. I think he threatened to leave or like walk out or end it or whatever the use. And I obviously I can't live without you. Oh my god, I can't breathe without you. You're my life. You're my world. Oh my god, like um, don't leave me. Like I'll kill myself. Like I was a psycho, bro. I was psycho over him, like psycho. So I remember he was airing me. And I was so impatient this day. I was thinking, no, you're not going to fucking air me. I was so impatient. Like, you're not going to fucking air me. You're going to speak to me. You're not leaving me. Like, I will pull up at your mum's yard. Like, you're not leaving me. So, basically, I thought, cool, if you're going to try and ignore me, because it was late, so it must have been, like, 10 p.m. or whatever. I was thinking, if you're going to fucking ignore me, I'm going to make sure you see my missed calls. Nigga. Nigga, I rang this nigga. No cap. No cap. No cap, I rang him 300 times. And I wasn't ashamed. I was not ashamed. I kept ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing. And ringing and ringing and ringing. Like a psycho, non-stop. Did he eventually pick up? Yup. I want to make sure his battery died. You're not going to ignore me. The fuck? Can you not see me ringing your fucking phone, nigga? Like, I was psycho. Like, you're not going to ignore me and you're not leaving me. Like, I was psycho over this guy. Like, sprung, tapped over this nigga. Three hundred times. I rang him three hundred times. And I'm not going to lie to you. He liked it. As much as he, he likes a psycho bitch, he made me a psycho bitch. He trained me well. Because every time I acted crazy, he would come mine and then basically say, well done. Basically say, well done. He said, that's what, that's, the, that's what a real bitch does. That's what a real ride or die bitch does. Get me? And if I said shit to him like, I can't live without you, he'd be like, good. You're not supposed to. I remember one time... Um, he said to me, we had an argument, <sighs> and he blocked me and everything. This is early days, though. This is before I was, like, whipped and psycho bitch on him. Early, early, early days. So I'm ringing my man, ringing my man. Um, he blocks me on everything, everything, Instagram, Twitter, whatever, you name it, he blocked me. So basically, I said, cool, early days, remember, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, like, crazy whipped on him. So I left him to it. Week about week goes by ish roughly. He ends up calling me, and he's like, "Yo, like what? You forgot about me?" And I was just like, "No, but you blocked me. So what do you want me to do?" And he goes, "What? So you can't figure out a way to talk to me?" I said, "How am I gonna talk to you when you've blocked me?" And he basically let me know. He basically let me know that he doesn't like it when I behave like that. He basically let me know that if I wanna be his real, real wife. I'm not talking about a, like a title. I'm talking about a, a ring. Like if, if I want to be his wife, he needs to know that I love him. And he said, if I was a real bitch and I was his real ride or die, I would never allow him to leave. And I would figure out a way to communicate with him. So he basically said to me, you make a burner account. You make a burner account and you reach out. You message me. Another rule he had was if he's busy and he can't he can't respond often or frequently i should still text him i should have a conversation with myself i remember he texted me i didn't do it but i remember him telling me this and i was just be like what the fuck why would i do that and he said i need to see your name on my phone at all times so basically he wanted me to bug him like 
I don't think he wanted me to bug him all day, every day, like non-stop, but I miss... Mm, I would say, based on our relationship, that he needed to see my, me on his phone at least two to three times a day, even if he didn't respond. So let's just say I text him at eight in the morning on my way to work, and then he hadn't responded by three in the afternoon. I should, I should double text. And if he hadn't responded by 11, I should still text. So I could just have a conversation with myself, like, hey, baby, like, morning, hope you have a good day today. Eh. At lunchtime, hey, babes, haven't heard from you, but I hope your day's go, going, is going great. I miss you. Cool. And then by evening, hey, babes. This is something I would probably text because I'm a dirty bitch. I probably text, hey, babe, just thinking about you. Gonna touch myself while I think about you, babes. So, so, some bullshit. Like, can you come see me, daddy? Like, I want some dick. Like, some bullshit. Get me? So, that was his rule. I should be on his phone. And I remember... <laughs> This nigga was a psycho. One time we, I wasn't um, happy with him. Early days again. And um, I aired his call. I aired his call. And then eventually I spoke to him. And he was not happy. And he basically said to me, like, why didn't you pick up when I called you? And I was just like, I was busy. And he was basically like, no, I don't work like that, fam. He goes, if, you, if, I'm, if, if I ring you and, like, the phone like goes to voicemail you're fucking on me basically you're fucking on me loyal he used to be like loyalty is the most important thing to me so i need to know as as my as my thing as my woman whatever you want to call it i need to know that you are behaving yourself so when i ring you you pick up the phone that's what he basically said to me and i said but you don't always pick up your phone you're always busy that's different he says i'm getting money like so if I don't pick up the phone, that's different. You pick when I call you, you pick up the phone. And guys, I had it. I ha literally, I had it. I was pussy for this guy. I was pussy. I was pathetic. Obviously, I wouldn't act like that now. Come on, we we move. But guys, if there's anybody out here, any girls out here who are pussy for a guy, don't do it. Don't be silly like me. Like I was so dumb for this guy, but at the same time. As much as I was pussy for, a pussy for, for, for him, I do feel like w the, the last thing he did to me at the very end, I, I still think that was out of order. It doesn't matter if you can say, oh, but Lani, like, some of it was your fault. Yeah, yeah, cool. Some of it was my fault. Like, especially me just being completely whipped over this nigga and thinking he was my whole world and putting his name on my body and loving him uh, more than I loved myself and being a dickhead. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, that was all my fault. But what he did to me, the last thing he did to me, no, 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 that was not my fault. I was not aware of it. He done me dirty. You don't do that to people. Whether you rate them or not. You don't do that to people. What he did to me, the last thing he did to me was foul. Foul. And there's no one can tell me any different. You don't do that to someone. Even if you don't rate them. Even if you think someone's just a stick, a, a, an idiot. You don't fucking do what he did to me. The last thing he did to me, no. No. There's no fucking excuse. No. From a woman you're fucking, a woman that loves you. You don't do that. No. It's wrong. It is wrong end of discussion end of story so you're my op you're my op and it's just it's just gonna be that you are my whole op you are my whole op not a half op not a, a quarter op a whole op okay opulation occupation you are my op that's it bottom line period 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 blank. Period point blank. That's what I was trying to say. Period point blank. You are my op. You are my occupation. You my you are my octopus. You are my um. You are my op. You are my opulation. You are my occupation. You are my optimization you are my motherfucking op my whole op not a quarter op not a half op my whole motherfucking op what you did to me and that's on period anyway guys there you go there's part three um part four i know a lot of you like because i want to talk about my man i don't really come with receipts <laughs> bitch what receipt do you want With all due respect, with all due respect, with all due respect, with all due respect, 
with all due respect, with all due motherfucking respect, I don't need receipts. I don't need no fucking receipts. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't need no fucking receipts. But if you want them, I got receipts for days. I got receipts for days. Mm -hmm. I got the old phone that I used to take a snigger on. Messages are there. Mm -hmm. That phone ain't in my yard. I keep that at work. Because if I die tomorrow, I still have the evidence. I got emails from lawyers. I got messages from parents. What receipts do you want? I don't want to take it there, but if you want to take it there, we can motherfucking take it there. If you want the receipts, we can fucking take it all the way there. Y'all think I ain't ready for this fucking war? I'm ready, bitch. You ruined my life. Like, I'm ready, like... So, I don't know what you want to do, but just leave me alone, basically. Leave me alone and let me sing on YouTube, okay? Just leave me alone. Let me sing on YouTube. Let me let me talk to my little subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Let me talk to my little subscribers. It's none of your business. Just carry on with your life. Okay, carry on with your life. Leave me alone. Okay? <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> Mind your business. And I just want to say, if you guys haven't noticed, in the story, I have protected him. I haven't, I haven't, you know, I, I could have gone there. But I didn't go there. I made him seem a bit, a bit fuckery, but I didn't make him seem like a demon, did I? I was kind. I was kind. Because I'm a kind human being. Anyway, guys, bad boy information is coming out this motherfucking week. Let a bitch get her justice. Let a bitch get her justice. Make sure you fucking put the song on motherfucking repeat. It's catchy as fuck. The fuck? Make sure you put it on motherfucking receipt. Repeat! Put it on repeat! Put it on repeat! Okay? Listen to it once, listen to it twice, listen to it three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times! Put it on repeat! Let your bitch get her justice. I want you underneath the comments. Bad boy information. Don't watch it. Write it once. Write it twice. Don't write it twice. Write it three times. Don't write it three times. Write it four times. Like, like. Send it to your friend. Support. Support a woman. Support a woman who was here, heartbroken, nothing, and now she's here. Support a bitch. Like, 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 like. Comment, 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 comment. Share, 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 share. Like, comment, share. Like, comment, share, 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 share. I want all my goodies, my ride or die goodies, to comment under bad boy information. I don't. You don't have to write anything. Write gibberish. Yeah. In fact, if you want, you can just write, Lani. Lani, 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 The more you interact with my video, the better I'll do, sis. And I need to do good, yeah? Because it is about time I did good. After this man ruined my life. Let me get my justice. So if you guys love me, support me. Comment, 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 comment. Don't just do one fire. One fire, send. Two fire, send. Three fire, send. Four fire. Send okay, comment, 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 comment. Whoever does the most comments, I will know that is you that loves me. In fact, I might even give you a prize, bitch. I might even give you a prize if you do the most comments. DM me all the comments that you made for me, sis. Me, I've got shoes, I've got handbags, I've got lipsticks, eyelashes. Me, I'll send you a, 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 I'll send you a food basket. <laughs> I'll send you a food basket. Okay, guys, make sure you watch. Make sure you watch Bad Boy Information. Like I said, it is out this motherfucking week. And it's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit. Um, it's just a fun song. So, like I said, there's no need. <laughs> if you guys are like, oh, this bitch better not become an artist, I'm sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you. I would do what I want. <laughs> and you can't do nothing about it. <laughs> I will do what I want. You can't tell me nothing. You will do nothing. <laughs> if I want to rap, I will rap. If I want to sing, I will sing. And my supporters, they will fuck with it. Okay? Okay? <laughs> 
Okay, guys, love you. Love you, love you. Until next time, bitches. See you on Bad Boy Information. Bad Boy Information. And oh, yeah, merch is motherfucking coming too. You don't know. Bad bitches. Ah. Uh. They're so shocked when they hear this drop Cause the clock that Lani's an artist now <laughs>